Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to make candles out of crayons. So I was trying to think of a way to make a homemade candle if you didn't have, you know, candle wicks at home or supplies at home. Um, and I came up with this idea. So we're going to try it today. What you will need is a glass jar. Um, I used an old glass yogurt jar. Uh, the jar will be for your candle holder. So it needs to be something that can go in the microwave and that is not flammable. Um, then you will need some crayons. They do not have to be brand new. They can be used up crayons as the first thing you will do with the children is take off the paper and break them up um, in order to melt the crayons into wax for the base of your candle. Okay, and then just keep one or two candles, I'm sorry, one or two uh, crayons to the side. Um, a new one would be nice. That will be our wick. Okay, I'm back. So we took the paper off our crayons, we broke them up and put them in a jar here. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is keep a crayon or two, just in case we have any issues, aside. Now, the ones that you keep aside are going to be your wick. So you definitely uh, want a crayon that is contained in the paper still. A new one would be really nice, but if you have a longer one that's been used, that's okay as well. Um, and now we will melt our base in the microwave and I'll show you what to do after that. So I'm going to take this to the microwave. I think I'm gonna have it, um, I'm gonna have it run probably between four and six minutes until all of the wax has melted. So. I'll come back, I'll let you know exactly how long it took for me and I'll, I'll show you what we do next. All right, so we're back. Um, I microwaved all of my crayon wax. Um, what I did was I just checked on it every three minutes or so and I used one of these um, wooden skewers here to just stir it a little bit and then do it again for another two to three minutes. Um, and I did add some more wax, uh, mine got sort of mixed up so you can see the colors are pretty blended, but it's still very pretty. Um, you can do it so um, the, the patterns show a little bit better on the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is uh, take a, a full-size crayon with the paper on it and use it for your wick. Um, and I used a white one because I thought that would be a nice wick. Um, and you just push it down into the melted wax while it's still liquidy. Um, and hold it in place. If it doesn't hold in place on its own, you can use you know, something like I did here just to kind of keep it in place. And that wick is actually um, excellent because it's self-contained in the paper. And so when you light the tip of it, um, the, once the paper catches on fire, it burns just like a regular candle. Um, again, that is something you want to keep away from the children. The wax gets extremely hot. Um, if the paper is, if the paper tube is touched, the wax can come out. So, you know, this is not something you want the children to do with you, but they will really love watching you light it, I think. Okay, so we will come back in a few minutes once this is dry and we will light our candle. So you made a candle out of crayons, pretty cool. And the wick, remember, it's the paper that is going to hold your flame. So that wax that was on top needs to burn down low until the paper catches. But it's really some amazing flame. So just be careful around the children. Um, the wax gets very hot and the flame is really strong. Enjoy it. Visit us at littleacornlearning.com for more ideas and curriculum and festival and menu books um, and tons of free ideas on our blog. Thanks.